Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Nash from Tesla and the Gong. I welcome you to episode 2 of my Model 3 and Model Y tutorial. And in this video, we will see how to set up your phone as a key for your car. I do have another tutorial where I help you set up the Tesla key fob as well as the Tesla key card. So do check those out in the channel playlists. For this setup, you do need the phones obviously, but you also do need the authenticated key card that we set up in the previous tutorial. Place the key card behind the cup holder. Then go into settings, which is the car icon at the bottom right of the screen. Click on locks and then click on the plus button. Now fire up the Tesla app on your phone. If you have more than one Tesla, scroll from left and right and choose the car that you want your phone to be set up with. Click on the phone key and then start. And that is it. It is as simple as that. Just a reminder, you do need to be in the vicinity of the car to do this, so it's better to sit inside the car when you set up. Right, let's look at the Tesla app. You can see the name of the car on the top. The car icon will reflect your car's trim and color. Now this is a scrollable menu and at the bottom of the menu, you will see the car model number, the amount of kilometers that you've driven, your car's VIN number, and the version of your car's software. The top row of the app has three quick reach icons. Unfortunately, you can't change these icons at the time of making this video. The icon on the left is for the HVAC or the air conditioner. Then the icon on the right is to lock and unlock your car. The middle icon is to open the front trunk and it does ask for a confirmation when you click this. Obviously, as we saw in the previous setup video, we cannot close the front trunk natively because there is no native powered front trunk in our Teslas for now. Next up is media. Here you can play, pause and skip tracks. Also, you can change the volume levels too. This is useful if a rear passenger wants to be a car's DJ when you're traveling or when you're doing a long trip. Next up is climate. There is quite a bit of granular control in this submenu. You can turn on climate, including the windshield heating, decrease and increase the temperature, turn on and turn off seat heating and the new 2021 Model 3, you can also control steering wheel heating. The next submenu is controls. Here we can open a small portion of the window to vent the car. If there is a buildup of temperature inside the car, you can also roll up the window glass too. A second lock and unlock button is here. This button is used to flash the lights and this button to sound the horn in your car if you are in a parking spot and you can't locate your car. The start key symbol is a pretty awesome feature because you can activate and start your car keyless. If you have touch ID or face ID setup, then that can be used to authenticate the drive. Otherwise, you do need to enter the Tesla account password here. Imagine your friend or your significant other needs the car. You can now let them drive without a key. I have used this to remote activate my car for a friend to drive here in Australia when I was halfway around the world. There is a timer here which is the time till which the keyless access will be available. As long as the person gets into the car within that time, the keyless drive will be active till he or she stops the car or gets off the car. This is a powerful feature indeed. There is a front and a rear trunk button here. As the rear trunk is powered, you can open and close the rear trunk via the app. You can turn on valet mode, which will reduce the power to the batteries. So if you give your car to a valet for parking, they can't go for a joyride. This is protected by a four digit pin and they can't disable that. You can turn on and turn off sentry mode 
and I have separate videos on sentry mode in my channel, so do check them out. The speed limit mode can be engaged here and I've set this at 135 kilometers. So if the car goes faster than that speed limit, the Tesla app will send a notification to your phone. One of the scenarios this may be useful is if you are giving your car to your son or your daughter or maybe a friend and you don't want them to overspeed, this will let you keep a watch over them. Next submenu is charging. You can open and close the charge port, unlock the charge port here and start charging. You can see what are the superchargers in your vicinity. You can click on the name of the supercharger to send the address to your car and start the navigation from here. You can do the same for your destination chargers too. Next is the location tracker to pinpoint your location on a map. Again, a great feature to know where your car is even if you're not driving. The car updates location in real time so this along with sentry mode makes stealing a Tesla less lucrative as the chance of getting caught is much, much higher. Another security feature in our Tesla cars. Next up is Summon and I have several separate Summon videos in my channel so do check them out. The last is the service menu. You can schedule or schedule a service appointment here see the status of your appointment, cost estimates and also pay here. The messaging feature is really useful where you can send a message to the Tesla service team and they can reply back, keeping you informed on the progress. And yes, you can add pictures here to explain your problem too. Once you have the phone set up as a key, all you do need is to walk up to the car and the car will unlock for you. It's pretty cool. So there you go folks. Hope this tutorial was useful. Now I'm sure you can take full advantage of the Tesla app. If you are in the lookout for a Tesla of your own, an S3, X or a Y, kindly consider using my referral code. Description of this video has details of the same. My referral code will give you and me 1,500 kilometers of supercharger credit. In my case, my 1,500 supercharger credit goes into my higher car, which is an SR Plus Model 3, which I hire out of Canberra. I'm extremely touched that so many of you have used my SR Plus Model 3 as a surprise birthday or anniversary gift for your significant other. I'm really humbled that I was able to be a small part of your celebrations. A subscription to the channel will be highly appreciated. Also, smash that bell icon so that you can get notifications of my videos as soon as they drop. I'll see you guys in another interesting video very soon. Until then, this is Nash from Tesla in the Gong, signing off. Peace.